Mombasa! So while I was in Kenya, Mombasa was my next stop on my Kenyan trip. Before we go on, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video. Share it with all your friends and also drop a comment. Okay, let's get right into it. So that whole period, COVID was still very, very funny. So the local flights between Nairobi and Mombasa kept getting cancelled. So you know what I did? I went and I got on a train from Nairobi to Mombasa. Listen, the security that I had to go through to get on that train is even more than the security at any airport. Like I was like, wow, like I've gotten on trains in Nigeria before and I don't remember having to go through all the security to get on a train anyway the trains were very beautiful the train station very big very well kept it was quite impressive so i got into mombasa and um i got a taxi to take me to the resort where i was staying now listen mombasa is very much a resort town it's very touristy because it has like a lot of beaches a lot of resorts and it also has a lot of safaris as it's very come on in kenya so um the reason why a lot of people talk about mombasa for getaways and for holidays is because it has so many beaches so i was staying at this really beautiful resort somewhere in bamburi beach and the first thing that i did of course when i checked into my resort was to go and get the famous henna that they have in mombasa it was so beautiful so first stop in mombasa was to go to moy avenue and see the famous elephant tusks in Mombasa very beautiful stuff and then from there I headed to Fort Jesus so Fort Jesus was it was quite a beautiful place I mean um, there was a lot of history there you could see many of the places where slaves were kept you could see many of the cannons on the coast where they used to fight um, you know like people that were, were coming to disrupt their slave trade um, there were so many stories about the Portuguese it's very well maintained and very well preserved and there's so much history there if you ever go to Mombasa you should definitely visit Fort Jesus um, so my guide also took me on a tour of Old Town where there are so many Arabs even up till now you know and had a few British people all just settled there and living there and I hear it's really similar to Stone Town in Zanzibar I've never been but my guide tells me that Old Town in Mombasa is a mirror of Stone Town in Zanzibar. I guess when I get to Zanzibar, I'll find out. Um, I wasn't going to leave Mombasa without buying one of the famous slippers, you know, that everybody talks about in Kenya. So that's exactly what I did. Kenyan coffee is very, very famous. So there was no way that I was going to leave Kenya without buying coffee because I am a coffee lover and everybody that knows me knows that. So I went to the market to pick up some coffee and it was so yummy. It's um, very spicy. Sometimes they roast the coffee with spices and it was awesome stuff so my next stop was the kilindini harbor interestingly if you want to get from mombasa to likoni which is some other area you cannot go by road because there's no road that connects those two places so what you have to do is you have to get on a ferry there's this big ferry that takes people from mombasa to likoni and then from likoni back to mombasa and it's such a big ferry that you see so many people so many cars you know get on this ferry because there's literally no other way to get to that other side and when you hear about places like diani beach in mombasa it's actually somewhere in Likoni, so you have to get on that ferry to be able to get to Diani Beach from Mombasa. So yeah, I took a ferry from Mombasa to Likoni and then I stayed on the ferry and took the ferry back from Likoni to Mombasa. I just wanted to have the experience, you know, to know what it was like. And um, after that, I basically just laced around in my resort for like three other days. I tried um, some of the Kenyan food. I tried something called Nyamatoma, which essentially is just meat. Maybe it's like the the Kenyan version of suya and then um, I tried something else that was made from maize it was called ugali I didn't like that one very much it's white and you know they just make it somehow and they use all kinds of um, soups and vegetables to eat it I didn't like it very much I'm not a foodie in the first place so I only try things out when I get like a recommendation and this one yeah it didn't really work for me so yeah, that was Mombasa in a nutshell. Please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Thanks, Mombasa.